Hey folks, this video is brought to you by RivianStories.com, a great place to catch the latest Rivian news, join the conversation, or pick yourself up a sweet t-shirt. Regardless, thanks so much for watching here. Please do subscribe. We know that everyone says that, but it really does help us make these videos every week. Thanks. We're about to interview someone else, but EPA range just came out. Ready, set, go. I, I'm shocked. I don't, I'm still trying to figure out how the truck is more efficient than the SUV. Mm -hmm. I mean, good for the truck. That's yeah. awesome. Good for, good for us truck owners for sure. I mm -hmm. mean, shoot, that's, a, that's epic. I, I don't really have nothing else to say other than that. And so, and by a smidge, cause we're looking at 316 and 314, right? Right, right. I mean, close enough, you know, from the get go, Rivian has been advertising the SUV getting 10 miles more in each, uh, battery option. Yeah. You know, um, so for it to be as close as it is, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm. Yeah, shocked is the, shocked is the only thing I got. I'm I wasn't expecting them to be as close because I mean historically, how is a truck more efficient? Right. I mean, that's the first thing. Then it, you got then it. it's SUV counterpart. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the thing is, the the R1S has a little bit longer range, so two more miles longer range, EPA, but it's less efficient. So the only logical conclusion there is that there is a difference in the usable battery pack size, which which seems really strange. Um, and the the other major news that came out of this is actually on Rivian's website, and it talks about the 20 inch tires or 20 inch wheels rather. Um, mm -hmm having a 10 to 15 percent range reduction and the 22s a 5 to 10 percent range reduction so i was also surprised by that i thought that 10 percent would be the top end of mm -hmm. range reduction for the 20 inch wheels so i that don't know was, yeah that was the biggest surprise to me and i'm sitting here over here trying to find it but um Especially since you guys just recently converted me over to 20s. <laughs> what the heck? And now I've fallen uh, in love the look and the stance with the 20s. And now <laughs> tell me I'm going to have, oh man. I mean, 47 at the, at the high end of that 15% is 47.1 miles. I don't see, because even the 21s are, are right. That's a 33 inch tall tire. I mean, there's not much physical difference between mm -hmm. the two. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the 22 is a 33 inch tall tire, just a little bit more rim. I mean, I know the metal weighs, you know, the rim and, you know, obviously there's a difference there. And then mm -hmm. the tire weight, there's a difference with the, the 34 inch tall tire on the 20 inch wheel. So um, our predictions about 301 that we saw on the Motor Trend video, wrong. I mean, 10, well, 10%. I don't, I don't, that would be a 4% range reduction, which is actually right. more in line with that 5% that I was expecting. Mm -hmm. But right. um, the, the other questions that I already know people are going to be asking, and literally for the viewers, like we haven't seen or read anything from anybody else, but it's going to be, is this in the conserve mode? that is basically two wheel front wheel drive only mm -hmm. does it include the weight of the off-road upgrade the the steel underbody protection um goodness i thought i thought there was one more but i'm well, I'm, I'm losing my mind trying to think of it there's probably well, five more questions that this that this yeah, and spit them out. Rivian yeah. is like the master of releasing information that causes 12 more questions. <laughs> well, and if viewers have other questions, put them down below. I'm curious what you guys, mm -hmm, and I, yeah. want, I want to hear thoughts and comments as well. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I mean, for me personally, I just don't understand how, you know, like, like we just said in the last video, or I said in the last video, you would think the EPA range would be based off of the configuration that the vehicle is in, in a standard drive mode. 
So I can't see. That'd be rough. <laughs> that would be, be rough, rough. If, if it wasn't with four motor drive. Yeah. 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 And then, and then you got to figure too. Um, where was I going with this? That picture in the, on the UI would be of the vehicle. You would assume would be of the vehicle that is the one they're driving, not, you know, they're mm -hmm. not going to have a picture of uh, R1T on 22s on the screen when you're actually driving one that's got the 20s. We may not know some of this until real people get their hands on these vehicles and know what real life range looks like. Because the other question, and, and I think this was actually my third one, was how realistic I mean, Tesla gets a bad rap for mm -hmm. overshooting their EPA estimates. Yeah. I mean, so how realistic is Rivian's EPA range estimates going to be? Or are people going to be pleasantly surprised by exceeding EPA results? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, are we going to see, yeah, are we going to see numbers like the Porsche Taycan versus the Model S and... Rivian's just basically playing it safe and going with a five or a ten to fifteen percent on the twenties. Um, I mean, because uh, let's be honest, I mean, seventy miles per gallon in a truck combined highway and city, that's sharp. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, Lordstown, I don't think was what was Lordstown now seventy five. Um, not that that really makes a difference since they're not really a thing right now. Um, <laughs> But, but, but still, I mean, again, you know, 75 miles combined MPGE in a, in a truck that can tow 11,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and again, obviously your range is going to go down. That can go zero to 60 in three seconds, like every other electric car. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But has 800 something horsepower and over 900 pound feet of torque. Mm -hmm. well, what else? Any kind of uh, final summary thoughts before... Hopefully Garrett gets on here. Uh, will this change my mind on on getting rid of the twenties? No, I'm keeping the twenties. Like I'm, I was sold from day one on the twenties, and I will I will live with the two sixty six, preferably three hundred one or better. Mm -hmm. And and who's to say? Um, and I'm dragging this final thought on, and I apologize. But who's to say that they aren't? You won't see if. Uh, efficiency bumps uh, with OTAs, similar right. to what we've seen with Tesla over the last decade. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. You mm -hmm. know, there's no way with the amount of vehicles that Rivian has on the road right now, doing the amount of testing they're doing, that we won't see an efficiency bump of yep. some sort. Right. Great point. It's, yep. it's not. It, there's no way it's not going to happen. And my final thought is, I can't wait to see what these things do in the real world. In all the various configurations because that's when everybody's going to really know what to expect right mm -hmm. and i'm going to go through one run where i want to see how few miles i can actually get in the truck just to see mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey we we'll do that as a competition jimmy done <laughs> done <laughs>